Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, in this episode, we make a composite with a little illustrative look. Bonjour mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 91 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. Je m'appelle Serge Ramelli et je suis un photographe français. Welcome to my show. In last episode, I showed you Uh, some raw file that I took with the new Sony Alpha 7R and how I retouched them. I was really amazed by the quality of the raw file. A lot of people wrote me, are you dropping Canon? Are you going to shoot only Sony? No, I have the 6D, I have the 7D and I also have this one. What I like about this one is like a challenge for me. I like to go out just with a full frame camera, 35 millimeter and do landscape and having no other lens. It's, you know, it's like an exercise where you have to force yourself to, uh, to a certain framing and get the best out of it. That is why I bought that camera. Okay, now this week's tutorial, we're going to do a composite and we're going to give it a little cartoon illustrative look. And I'll show you some little secrets that I found over the years on this. So let's get started. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. So before we get started, a couple of uh, things first. Uh, I still have 40% off on my website using the promo code 2014. It's been successful through December, so we keep on getting the discount. It is a real discount. Uh, the course are already 40% cheaper. Next is, uh, if you want to get the raw files of what we're going to be doing, and it's quite a bit uh, for free, you just have to go to news and sign up and click, put in your name and your email and you will get the raw file. Last but not least, my winter landscape course just came out. And if you uh, would like on my YouTube channel, you can see uh, some of the before and after a little presentation. I was very excited about this course. Uh, it took me a long time to do all these photos. And I really show you all the before and afters of uh, this uh, winter landscape. Hope you check it out. Okay, now to the tutorial. Uh, today we're going to do a little composite. It's um, very much inspired by uh, Joel Grimm, an amazing photographer. Uh, that I've been following for years and I, I don't have the talent that he has, but I'll give you a little introduction of this uh, sort of cartoon-like type of portrait and give you a few tricks that I found uh, is pretty cool. So this is going to be the background. I'm gonna, I wanna make a real illustrative look to it. This is the, the normal photo, the underexposed photo and the overexposed. Uh, and I'm gonna do this in HDR because HDR helps to sell the illustrative look. That's what we're going for. So I'm going to make this very quick. I'm just going to open up the shadows and bring down the highlights. Uh, not fully because we are going HDR, so about halfway. I'm going to do my white point a little bit and my black point a little bit to, to bring back some contrast. And uh, I'm going to add some clarity. And on a white balance, it's too yellow for me, so I'm going to go into the blues here and a bit into the magenta. Maybe boost a bit the exposure. Um, then I'm going to go into the noise reduction. I'm going to take out a bit of noise, uh, about 17. Now, there's one thing I want to explain on the noise reduction. Uh, this photo is not so noisy, so when it's not so noisy, I go about 10. But when you reduce noise, you soften the photo. That's why you have to put back sharpening. And sharpening, what I usually do is put 100. 100 is like a lot sharpened, right? It's very sharpened. But uh, I always deduct, that's just my formula, whatever I put in noise. So I'm going to go for 90. The problem with that is now we have a very sharpened photo, but if you look at the wall, it's very grainy. Because sharpening, bring back the noise that you took out. So then you have to use a masking tool, and I'm pressing the Alt key for that, and go to the right until uh, you have a lot of blacks. Black means that anything which is black is not going to get sharpened. So as a result, we only have the contour getting sharpened and that's kind of cool. Okay, so that's my basic, basic uh, retouching on this. I think it's maybe a little too much. Yeah, the colors is fine. So I'm going to select all three. I'm going to click on sync and I'm going to make sure that uh, check all is on and synchronize. So I'm going to synchronize all that I have done on all three photos. Then I'm going to right click, edit, edit in Uh, ba, 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 I'm sorry, it's export. Uh, sometimes it's export, sometimes it's edit in HDR AFX Pro. You could do it with Photomatics, but I think it's fun to do it with HDR AFX Pro. Any uh, 
any any uh, HDR program is going to give you that illustrative look that we're looking for. And this is just a background. So I'm going to put on post until it opens. So here we are. It's, it says alignment. Yes. Ghost reduction. No, I don't. Ghost reduction is when you have things that are moving. I just click on create HDR. I'm pretty lazy guys. You will see it's pretty straightforward. All I'm trying to do is make an illustrative type of background. So we are not going for photorealistic. We are going for illustrative. So if you don't like illustrative, please leave this video now and never come back. I'm just kidding. Okay, so uh, normal details. I think I'm going to go to accentuated details or maybe not. You know, I, I, I'm going to stay in realistic drama. I'm going to go into deep drama, but it's especially here. Exposure, I'm going to lower the exposure. It's, I wanted to make it darker and I'm going to add some structure. I love what structure does on this uh, type of photos. Okay, and uh, that's just the starting point. I think I'm gonna add a bit of contrast and lower a bit the exposure, and I'm gonna click on save. Okay, I'm gonna put on post until it's back into Lightroom. Okay, I'm back into Lightroom. All I'm gonna do is unable the profile correction and, uh, and use the uh, upright. I'm gonna put on the upright. Uh, the reason I'm doing it on a final photo is that sometimes I've had bugs when I do it before the HDR. So I usually do it before. Uh, maybe I'm going to add a bit more clarity. Well, not so much. It's going to become too much. Just a little tiny bit. It's a bit dark. In, I'm going to maybe open up a bit the shadows. And that's it. The rest I'm going to do in Photoshop. So that's my background. So I'm going to click Edit. Edit in Photoshop CC. Okay, so now we're in Photoshop. And uh, this is uh, the background. And I want to show you this file that I prepared. This is just a a raw file of a gentleman that I shot, uh, Maxime, is a very, very nice uh, French actor that I like a lot. And I just took him on, on, the, on, the, on the background and then I used uh, the quick select mode to, uh, and the um, refine edge to basically extract him. Okay, and uh, if you want to know how to do that, check a couple of episodes back. I give you, there is an episode, I've done several episodes on extractions. So it's, it would be too long to do that in, in that video, but there is tutorials on that. Then I take the move tool and I take Maxim and I put him over my background. Now there is several problems with Maxim. First, there is a little hello over his head here. So let's correct that. Now I'll give you a little trick. I'm gonna click with the command key or the control key if you're on Windows onto the mask and that's gonna bring back my selection. Then I'm going to press Command or Control J. And what that's going to do is that it's going to put the actor just on, it, on a transparent background. So I don't need this anymore. I can throw it away. Once this is on a transparent background, we want to get rid of this little hello here. You go to Layer, Matting, Defringe. And let's go for one pixel. And boom, it's going to take this little yellow uh this little fringe that you have some time away so that's cool so now he's included but he doesn't match at all in terms of colors so well let's do something about that um first what you can do is um i'm basically gonna use this new option in photoshop cc i'm gonna go to filter camera roll filter on him and i'm gonna warm him up a little bit okay I'm gonna warm him up and I'm gonna click on OK so now he's warmer but he's too bright okay and this this background I'm gonna go filter camera roll filter and I'm just doing it on site and I'm also gonna add some magenta and uh, I'm gonna warm him up warming up also something like that okay so now they the colors fits a little bit better but he's too bright so when he's too bright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a layer, a level, sorry, adjustment layer. Okay. And this level adjustment layer, I want it to only work on him. So for this, I'm going to press the Alt key. And when I'm between the two layers, you see the arrow becomes like this and I press OK. And now this level is only going to affect him. And I want to make him darker, sorry, this way. I want to make him darker. You just play around with this until you get something that fits. Okay, now he's dark, but he is, uh, he is too saturated compared to the rest. So, okay, you can just go back and forth. Filter, camera roll filter. 
I like to work with Camera Raw and I can just, you know, desaturate him, take some saturation off and maybe some contrast off of him and click OK. And you just go back and forth until you've got something that looks kind of realistic. This is a good starting point. OK, he's warmer. Uh, I think the background is a bit too blue on the on the back. So I'm going to go back again, filter camera row and uh, I'm going to go here and use the gradient tool. The, I'm going to make a gradient here and that gradient I'm going to make yellow, very yellow and a bit magenta. I just want to correct the, the, the background there and maybe add even more saturation. I just want to make this less blue. There's too much blue here on the here on the background. Click OK. OK, now it fits a bit better. All right. So now we are ready to do the magic. The, I mean, honestly, I could do better job with this. You know, uh, I think he is maybe a bit too dark, so I can go back to my levels. But it's, you know, it's a never ending story. You know, I'm just trying to okay, make, make him a bit brighter, something like this. Now, what I want to do is give like an illustrative look. Now, I usually use some plugins from Topaz for that, but not everybody has the plugin. So I'm going to try to do it just using, uh, you know, regular Photoshop stuff. So first, I'm going to create a layer that's going to take into account all we've done so far. So I'm going to press Command Alt Shift E. What that does is that it just creates a layer with everything we've done so far. OK, now that we have that, I'm going to go to filter. Oh, sorry. First, I'm going to duplicate that. I'm going to save a copy of this. And on this copy here that I'm going to call cartoon, I'm going to go to filter, filter, noise, reduce noise. OK, and the reduce noise thing I'm going to use to give a, a cartoonish look to it. So I'm going to put strength at 10, which is the maximum. Preserve detail at 0, which is the maximum. Reduce color noise at 100%, which is the maximum. And sharpen detail at 0. So I'm really like blurring it a lot. Okay. So I'm going to reduce the noise and it's already going to give like a little cartoon-ish to it. Check it out. But he's becoming a bit blurry. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to do to noise, reduce noise, and I'm going to do it again a second time. Okay, but usually a second time, it's too much. I want to do it one and a half time, not two times. So to go back on this, I can go to edit, fade, reduce noise. And this is an option that you have in Photoshop, always in the edit menu, which gives you the ability to fade just the last action you did. And what is the last action that I did was to reduce noise. So I'm going to do it at 50%. So I've re uh, what I've done is I've reduced the noise two times. Okay, now that I've done that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that layer, which was, uh, so I've got the cartoon layer look before and after, but it's he's blurry now. I'm going to take the, uh, the, 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 the layers which has not been cartooned and I'm going to go to filter, uh, other, high pass. And I'm going to make about a three, maybe a bit more, 4.5 pixel high pass. Okay, I'm going to put this on top. Now, what is high pass? High pass is basically a filter in Photoshop that's going to put the whole photo gray, except for the contours of the photo. You see, we can see his face, we can see his eyes and everything. And there is a blend mode in Photoshop that loves that which is the overlay mode. And what the overlay mode does is that anything which is gray is going to be transparent. Anything which is a bit white is going to, is going to become whiter. Anything which is black is going to become darker. So the only thing that we're white and black in the photo, let me show you again, is the contour. You see that this is white and black. So basically all the gray is going to disappear and it's going to enhance the contour. Let's look at his face. See, before... He's totally blurry. And after we brought back some details, but only on the contour and thereafter giving this little cartoonish look, check it out. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's very cartoonish like, and a lot of people dig that. And so this is the before, I'm sorry. Let me turn this off and on. This is the before, and this is with the cartoon on and the contour. So a lot more, yeah, a lot more illustrative look. The background is already very HDR. And that's something that's kind of popular. 
uh, that I like to do sometimes for friends. And, you know, it's a nice way of doing portraits. Now, if you want to do it even more, and we don't have the time for that today, is you can dodge and burn him. And that's going to give him an even more droll uh, type of look. The way you do that is you create an empty layer. You put this in soft light. And then you take a white brush, white brush, and make sure it's about 10%. And it's going to take a lot of time and you just anything which is white you just you know you just go over it and uh you can zoom in and like a you know like a, a drawing artist you enhance the volume of his jacket you know like anything which is white here maybe here a little bit and that that takes a lot of time and i, I would probably do another video on that but already look he really has a cartoonish look to it on his face and uh Check it out. Um, before the dodge and burn, after. Of course, I would do that a lot more, but you get the idea. So yeah, that's just a little introduction on how to make this sort of cartoon composite, which is can be very fun to make portraits and to enhance people. Hope you like these little tips and tricks. All right, guys. As you know, I just came out with my new winter landscape course. I hope you get a chance to check it out. I put a lot of work into it. Thank you for being there on every episode, and I'll see you in the next. Goodbye. Wow.